Pop quiz, who out there can tell me which one of these five cuts produces the most structurally sound wood? If you said Riffson, you would be correct. Riffson is the most stable out of all of the five different types of wood cuts because of its straight grain appearance and also its structural integrity. The next most structurally sound would be your quarter sawn. Pretty much like the rift sawn, it just is cut with a different grain angle. So it makes it in the same family as the rift sawn as far as its structural integrity. Then plain sawn, which is the most affordable and readily available type of wood. It's used for all types of projects and will work just fine for most of your projects versus spending the extra to get rift or quarter sawn. Mostly plain sawn looks like this, where it's got these cathedrals and not too much straight grain on it at all. Still makes an excellent choice for most of your projects as it's a lot more available and affordable than the quarter or the riff sawn. Next down the line is live sawn. Live sawn is what you see a lot when people will take a log and make a plank of wood, maybe use it as a countertop. It's got heartwood in it, which is the wood from in the center where plain sawn does not and they just get right close to the heartwood without really including it in the quarter and the riff sawn. Heartwood is very unstable. So this is gonna be your very last choice as far as stability on your wooden projects. Then the rotary cut. Rotary cut is not something that you would ever be using to actually build a project because it's always going to be on plywood like this piece behind me of quarter sawn white oak. It's thin, so it's not structurally sound for building projects out of anything rotary cut alone. You probably will not find this almost ever unless it is a loose veneer. Rotary cut loose veneers are something that you can apply to your project to give it a finished look on the outside. Wood is a very interesting subject. Please follow, like, and share. And don't forget to go over, subscribe to my YouTube channel by the same name, just in case TikTok gets banned here in the United States.